Hey, this is Jason Johnson, instructional designer here at University of Kentucky. And today we're going to talk about how to reply to a discussion post with a video. So here we have my superhero Canvas course. I'm going to go down here to introduce yourself, that discussion. And all you do is click on reply. This is where you would normally type your reply for a discussion post in Canvas. Instead, I'm going to click on the record upload media button. From there, the very first thing that Canvas will do is use something called Flash to ask if it can use your microphone and camera. I'm going to click on Allow. Now, if you have more than one camera connected up to your computer, you will also get this drop-down menu that has Please Select Your Camera. Then you need to select which camera you're going to use. I'm going to select my external USB camera that's listed here. Once I've selected that, you should now see a preview of your face. I'm going to click anywhere to start recording. Here is my discussion response, etc., etc. Click to stop. Where to start recording? Here is my discussion response, etc., etc. Now, if you noticed, the input seemed pretty high and it was distorting just a little bit. And so a couple of things you can do to adjust that. When you clicked on the recording button again, you see how it's hitting the red. You can back away a little bit more from your camera. And if you back away from your camera, you should get a little less. And you know, these tend to run a little bit hot for some reason. Recording button again, you see how it's hitting the red. You can back away a little bit more from your camera. And if you back away from your camera, you should get a little less. And you know, these tend to run a little bit hot for some reason. The other thing that you can do is you can right click and go down to settings. And you will end up with some Adobe Flash settings. Over here, you'll see something that looks like a microphone. And you can see my line level there coming in on uh, another line that I have. I'm going to select my my camera and for whatever reason I don't know why it does this but you can see that my camera is really really hot in terms of volume so now I'm gonna adjust this down maybe to somewhere in the middle what you want is when you're speaking at a pretty good tone that you don't want it to hit the red so maybe adjust it right in there I'm gonna close it now I'm gonna hit record and let's try it again Hi, this is my discussion post, and now you can see that the meters on the side are just going up to about the yellow, and we shouldn't get too much distortion this time around. Hi, this is my discussion post, and now you can see that the meters on the side are just going up to about the yellow, and we shouldn't get too much distortion this time around. Okay, once you've gotten a great video with some good audio, what we're going to do is put a title up here. If you forget to put the title up there for some reason, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to click on Save. Depending on your internet connection, that may take a moment. Now you can see this little preview that's happening here. You could also type in if there's anything that you need to type in along with your discussion post, some notes or whatever. Then you can click on Post Reply and you will see your video come up at the bottom of all the other discussion posts. You can preview it after that point if you want to to see Hi, how it will turn out. Post, and now you can see that Make sure when you're previewing it that it has a good quality in terms the of the, the video is what you want but also the audio particularly is what you want. And that's how you post on a video discussion. If you have any comments or questions please let me know.